Hi guys, um, I am going to review a product today for you all. This is a product that I have not used. I've used a similar product um, by a different brand, but this particular brand I have not used before. Um, I got it from Amazon. I will have the link of how you can purchase this. Right now they were on sale. I don't know when the sale is going to end, um, but all of that will be posted in the link. You can click that and it'll bring you right to the Amazon um, where you can purchase it. And of course, if you have your Amazon Prime, you can get the free shipping with this item. It is a nail stamping kit. I left this hand here blank so that we can show on a clean nail. I've already cut them um, just the other day. I did all the filing and buffing and things like that. Um, you can go ahead and prime them if you have really oily nails. I'm not going to today just because this is just a product review. It is by Beauty. It is the Stamping Nail Art Collection. So here is the brand. And it came in this little gold looking package. Um, I already opened them all up. They come with a blue fill over the top just so the stamping plates don't get scratched in the transit. But I peeled them all off to see them better. Um, it does take a minute to kind of peel them off. So they were stuck on there pretty good. Um, so I advise you to peel off the blue film before you get everything else ready to go because it's just easier. Um, I have, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the circle discs, um, stamping plates, they're all silver, and then three of the long rectangle ones, like this, those all came with it, and then I got, oh, where did I put it? Um, one of the kids might have ran off with it, but I got a, the scraper, I can pick it up came with it you'll need this I got these the stamp itself to pick up the image and then I got another little gadget look like another little blue stamp or black oh right here oh it's black with a green tint um, I've not used one like this so I'm not really sure what it's good for and then it's got the the razor edge, edge with it um, so this I'm not going to use today but if you have any tips or tricks on how to use these, throw them on in the comments, guys. Love to see what you guys think as well. All right, so I am going to do, because it's Valentine's Day this Friday, right here. Hopefully you can see this with the glare right there at the bottom next to my nail. There's a little heart with Cupid in it. Super cute. And the only pink I have, I don't have any red nail polish. Who doesn't have red nail polish? me I guess um I have this pink by ice I've had it for a long time not really sure what it's gonna look like to be honest but here we go I'm gonna get that opened up make sure it's still good <laughs> should probably check that you know nail polish gets nasty it's a little bit runny so we'll see how this goes I don't know why I'm closing it um I'm more of a blue person green person so I don't really have a lot of different colors but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing this I'm gonna be getting some more Where'd it go? There he is. Okay, so I'm going to put all these other stamp plates up off to the side. So you won't really be able to see it very well on the table here, but I'm going to place it. I'll place it down here. Okay, so you, you know which one you want to do. And it's really simple. Like I said, I've done a different brand before, but I've never done the BUT brand. I've done the Maniology. That one seemed to take me a few tries to get the hang of it, but I feel like I got it. Okay, so I'm going to give you a trick that I had to learn by watching YouTube videos like this because the first two videos I watched did not tell me this. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Everybody else is so pretty and they get it so easy. Well, here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to give you a tip. So when you put it on there, you just take your nail polish. I'm just doing one color because I'm not that fancy yet. You just paint it on, make sure you got enough on there painted on the image. And then real quick, you take your scraper. I'm gonna get this everywhere because it's right on the edge. Scrape off the excess and then you quickly, what you do is you very lightly, this is your tip, your tip and trick here is you very lightly, which I may still have too much on there. You just gently rock it back from side to side. Nope, I didn't pick it up. Hawaii, right? Let me see if I can 
Sometimes you need to put a little bit of pressure on it, but nope, that took it right off. Okay, so this one I'm having a little bit of trouble with. So let's see if we can do it again. Sometimes it just takes a minute to find your rock and rhythm here. I'm gonna try it again. So I might like the Maniology better. I don't know if it's a, a difference or not in the brand. That's what I'm trying to figure out now. Um, but I may have just taken too much nail polish off, honestly. So let's just try it another coat and then just do a swipe. And I wipe it on paper towel and then you're supposed to just take your stamp. Yeah, see I'm not doing it light enough. So this one is a little bit trickier, okay. Um, but like I said, the Maniology one, I had to also kind of get the hang of it. So, it may just take me. I'm getting parts and pieces of it. But it's not picking up with me. Okay. Where is... So to clean these, it's super easy. You just take a nail polish remover. Mine is in a little holder. I don't, I have one that's like a pour out one, but um, this one scrapes it off your nails for you, but I need some on a paper towel. So I'm going to try to, try to, there we go. I'm going to try to clean it off. And of course, you want to dry it. And we're going to try one more time. So, if you want to try this product and tell me that it worked better for you the first time around or even the second time around, I would be happy to hear that. But, so far, I think it's just me because, like I said, it took me a few tries the other one and now I can get it. And I don't know if I'm just not evenly scraping. Make sure you scrape it evenly because... I got a much better image that time and I just went a lot quicker and real, real, um, fast and didn't push as hard. And then you can clean up around the edges, so I can't really see that. Come on, focus. Why I want it though? Well, we'll see if we can't get it to focus here in another minute. I'm going to try another one. My camera doesn't like to focus for me like ever. And that may have been what it is, is just the evenness of how you scrape, I think had everything to do with it, honestly. Eh, not so bad. I didn't get the bottom half. But it's definitely working a lot better. Okay, so make sure you scrape evenly. That's your tip number two that I didn't know I really needed tip number two there, but make sure you scrape evenly. Um, this one here just has some writing next to it and it's on the edge, so I was scraping up to not get it on my desk, but it wasn't giving it an even scrape, so it wasn't picking up the image properly. So when you scrape it, always do to the side because it's just better pressure when you scrape, I guess. Um, so that's my review on this and I'm going to try the hearts over here and see if we can do these ones. So where's my focus? Just a quick motion and there we go. Much better. So let's see all those little hearts. They're going to go right to my nail. And it's over my nail, but I mean, you can just take nail polish remover and, and clean up around the edges there. Um, and then you can do different colors, pink, red. Um, this one has like a flutter of hearts in the corner there. So there's multiple little hearts at once. That's why how I got this pattern. There you go. You can't really see Cupid as good because he's kind of halfway there. I didn't get the bottom part of it, but... Missing. I got his wing, his head, and his arm. I'm just missing the the heart around it. 
and his actual arrow. So I guess I got the left half more than the right half, not the top. Okay, but it was a little bit more difficult, I think, because it was in the corner too. So that might have something to do with it. Let me, I don't think there's any other corner ones I wanna do right now, but maybe in a different video, we will try to do some more corner ones and see if maybe that has something to do with it. Um, I really love stamping because I do my nails myself and it just, you can do just a plain color like the pink. I can do a solid pink and then I can use a different colored um, nail polish and stamp whatever design. So you can definitely mix up your nails and do all different kinds of stuff. So I will show you in another video how I dip these nails. Um, I'm going to also take off all of this but I just wanted to do a product review and again this is the beauty brand and the two tips I have for you is when you go to pick up the stamp um, do, press gently don't press hard and do a fast rocking motion from side to side um, some do it like side to side and up and down but I that's too long of a it doesn't pick it up as easy for me and then the tip number two is um, Make sure you, when you scrape, you scrape it even, the whole image, because that was my problem in the beginning. Um, other than that, I really like it. And they also have a few other packages on there, I do believe, that come with nail polish too. Um, this one didn't come with the nail polish, but you can use any brand nail polish on any stamping plates. I have found that out. Um, so that is all that I really have today. If you have any questions, just drop a comment or you can head over to my Facebook, which is um, Elegantly Pampered. I'm trying to remember the website address. I'll put it linked in the description for you guys of both my YouTube and my Facebook. Um, and then also the link to this product specifically. I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. There will be plenty more from bigger brands coming in the future. Thank you guys so much. Bye.